Good morning, friends. Spring has sprung. I think we are done with frost and it is time to do some yard work. We have a raised garden bed that has been neglected for at least a year. We did not grow anything in it last year, but I am here at the local hardware store and I am going to buy, I'm going to try to buy a tiller. We don't have one. We've always done everything by hand, but you know, let's try to do it a little easier this time around. So we're going to go look for a tiller. We're going to buy some equipment, maybe some soil, fill in the uh, garden bed, and we're going to plant a garden for the summer and see how it goes. We're going to try to teach the kids a little bit about the work required and how our food is made and things like that. So come along with us. We're going to get the garden started today. We're going to go inside and do a little shopping and get some prep work done and follow us for the rest of this video as we make our garden for the whole summer and see how it ends up. This is the one I thought I was getting. It's small, but it's battery powered, and so I don't know if it's gonna work, if it's gonna have enough power, enough juice. Let's keep looking. Okay, I found this one. This one I think is better. It has a cord, it won't lose juice. It's actually on sale. It's still the same price as the other one. So, I think this is what we're gonna get. Okay, phase one is completed. Lots of tools, soil, seeds, and some plants. Let's get to work. Here's our backyard. Let's get to weeding. Let's pull up some weeds. So we got this bad boy assembled. Not too big. We're gonna try to use it. Break up this old weedy garden. This is, I think, three major passes with the tiller. Every time we had to clean out the tines of the tiller, we had to rake all the weeds back out. Still not perfect. We're gonna maybe do one more time, then we're gonna put down some new garden soil and till it all back, mix it up together. Then we'll finally be ready to plant. Fresh dirt. garden is prepped and we're ready to plant some plants. I have plants and seeds because I couldn't decide what I wanted to plant. So we'll get those in the ground, get some water on them and see if we can make them survive. I'm not an expert gardener by any means. Every year I have to deal with bugs and disease and so sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it gets really hot and I'm, I don't keep up with the gardening, but we'll see what we can get. This is all about, you know, cycle of life, teaching my kids about where their food comes from. Let's go get some plants in the ground. Here's the finished product, stage one. I still have a couple extra tomato plants I can put in a pot as well as some herbs. But we've got spinach seeds, tomato plants, carrots, some butternut squash, and then cantaloupe at the other end. I've just watered them and now we just wait. Glad we got it all in. We had a lovely day, great weather. We got it all done today. Hopefully we see some vegetables soon. 
we're still growing our garden, but the weeds have uh, taken over. We've had some weeks where we haven't been doing very good maintenance. So I am pulling out weeds at the moment. We do have some success though. There's a jalapeno. We've got some flowers starting to come up on our uh, squash and uh, cantaloupe. We definitely have carrots. They're in there. Tomatoes. I have a really good separate container of sweet potatoes. So we just gotta clear out this bed. It's hot. All right, I thought I'd give you a little status update on the garden. It's not pretty, it's not perfect. It is July 1st, so it's almost two full months of growing and watering and whatnot. This down here is cantaloupe, I think, yes. So we've finally gotten some flowers. I don't think we have any buds starting yet for actual melon, so. We'll see. This thing, I don't know what this is. I thought it was gonna be a melon. It kind of looks like it, but it's growing straight up. So it might just be a weed, but it's got these flowers. I don't know, I'm leaving it. Let me know if you know what this is or if it's my, my melons gone confused. I also have some squash. I planted acorn squash and butternut squash and some of them didn't last and they went bad. So. I replaced them and honestly, I can't remember with what, which is which. So I do have some squash. This one's not looking so great, but this one's going okay. And we've had some flowers already kind of come and go and look, finally have a bud on here. So we may actually get a squash eventually. We have a jalapeno. He's growing in the last week. I've actually already pulled one off of this plant. My husband ate it. I'm not into peppers, but the boys are. So we've got some jalapenos that are doing pretty well. We've got these carrots. I've already pulled up a couple carrots too. And uh, I don't know that we have the best soil for carrots. I think it's a little too dense. There's one there. You can kind of see them above the ground. They are mostly balls of carrots. So I'm not having a whole lot of high hopes for my carrot crop, but again, it's just fun. And then we've got tomatoes. We've definitely doing okay with tomatoes here. We have tomatoes. They are finally popping up. Green everywhere. I need some new tomato cages because I've got some that are hitting the ground. But uh, I've got them propped up on my little melon tray thing there until we can get more to keep them off the ground. And then here are what's left of my extra sweet potatoes. They're doing okay. The ones in my raised like container I think are doing a little bit better because they're not on the ground getting chewed up by bugs. So there is our status at the moment. I just have to keep my daughter out of our cherry tomatoes on the, on the deck. She sees them and she wants them way before they're ready. So anyway, this is our garden. Hopefully we'll have some crops to speak of in a few more weeks. We have a couple updates. We have a little bit of a harvest today. Got a squash coming out. That's fun. We have this jalapeno that's ready to go. So we're gonna bring him inside. One little jalapeno, hopefully maybe he'll sprout again. And then there's a red tomato we've got over here. Probably time to pick him. Do, do, do. One little tomato. One tomato for now, but there's more in there. I put some orange peel in and around things because uh, the internet told me that that might keep pests away. So we'll see. We have finally started getting red tomatoes and the kiddos are impatient. So we're gonna see if there's any that are ready to pick. We got a few. That is red. Yeah, we got a few yesterday and we're gonna get some more today. Oh, you found one. Good job. Only the red ones, please. Good job. 
Oh, be gentle. Wait, wait, wait. If they're just orange, we're gonna leave, leave them another day or so. Nice job, girl. Is there more red ones? Really red, not just orange. Okay. Check out this crazy carrot. There's some more. There's skinny. They're, they're all curly. They're getting Yeah, rinse those off. Let's see what we got right here. Oh, right, right here. This one's a weed. All right, we're gonna go right here into the carrots. Wiggle, wiggle. Now play that out. Whoa, I think it broke. A little bit broke and got left in the dirt. It's still, it's okay. Okay. There's, one right there. There's more? Look at that one. Whoa, what are we gonna do with all those carrots? Okay, these are weeds, but that's a carrot. Stop, stop, you wanna pull? You grab all the things and you pull, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Circle, 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 circle. Get those leaves, all right, wow! It is finally August, which is starting to be harvest season. We have already had quite a few tomatoes, but we are getting our cantaloupes and melons. We've had this one squash. We still have, and we're gonna get a lot more tomatoes today. So let's pick some tomatoes. Good job, that's a good one. Are you spraying? Yeah, that one's ready. Yeah, we got a lot of rain. The last couple days. All right, we'll check them out when we get inside. Woo, there's several back there. Oh, and look, our jalapenos finally started to give us more than one at a time. There's a lot. Yay, tomatoes! They split? Yeah, I think they got really waterlogged. Ooh, I think I just got... There was a frog! He jumped on my foot. Can you believe we grew our own tomatoes, Marin? Yeah, I'm so happy. So happy. Oh, wow, show me that one. That's so big. We're running out of room in our bucket. I'm gonna try to make some pizza, right? And we've got all our melons and our squash, our one lone squash. There's a cantaloupe back there. I've been putting them on these melon, I don't know what you call them, cradles, to what? get them off the dirt. Ooh, we might have some more finally, some squash down there. And then we definitely have cantaloupe coming up. Ooh, that one's getting close. That one's getting close. This is when it gets fun and exciting. When we have tomatoes that have been gotten by the bugs, we go and throw them in the pond just for fun. Big throw! Splash! Just the big ones. Wait a minute. Oh my. Are those big? Yeah. You're so fast. Hang on. Slow down. We have just picked some new stuff from the garden. Tons of jalapenos. Our plants finally decided to produce. Looks like we might be making some salsa. Look at all these spiders we just found. I found one and they've just multiplied before my eyes. One. There's two. And there's Yeah, I found a big one with a bottle. Three. I can't see the front of it. Four. There's like 20 spiders. Ooh, this one's caught something. Look. Oh, yeah. There he is. How is that like not moving? All right, everybody, back inside. Let's go look up these spiders. All right, so we have had quite a few. We've had quite a few cantaloupe come ready, and I actually just salvaged one. There was a worm starting to climb in, but he didn't get in. I don't, I see that one's still pretty green. This one's still really little. Yeah, he's pretty little. Maybe 
Maybe Marin this one. Oh, look at this one. He, you know, he's ready to go because he's super yellow. You wanna pull this one? See, you might use two hands. Oh, look, that popped right off there. We know it's ready. Yay! Let's see, does he look good? Oh, see, the bugs knew it was ready too. Roly poly. Is it okay? Looks pretty good. This one's so good. Show it to me and cheese. Cheese. Oh yeah, we grew our own cantaloupes. That's a good size one. Well, we are kind of nearing the end of the season. I feel like my leaves are turning a little yellow. I'm curious what has happened to these sweet potatoes through the summertime. So I'm gonna dig through here and see if I uh, find anything good or if they've all turned to mush. We'll find out. Look, not so bad. This guy's a little small, but he's not too bad. This one looks good, he's big. There's more in there, little baby one. But they're growing. They're better than my carrots. If this whole bucket's like that, it'll be awesome. Here's our first sweet potato of the season. We'll take them in and clean them up. Check this out. It is late September. We have our uh, classic fall spider web. Oh, there is our, there's our spider right there. But I just found one, two more, at least two more squash that finally decided to pop up. Butternut squash. I don't know if they'll make it to full grown before, before frost happens, but uh, we got two more coming, plus the three that we've got still kind of finishing off here. And there's a few more little, uh, these guys are, I think, um, cantaloupe, but I don't know if they've kind of stunted and I've stopped or what's going on. But uh, we'll leave our little melon cradles out here and uh, see what happens. we still got some uh, tomatoes going. I'm gonna pick these up. Lost a couple in the rainstorm we had last night. And then of course our sweet potatoes, we'll check on those at the very end, but it looks like we have some bee friends, some pollinators. Anyway, I'm out here for tomatoes. All right, as you can see, we have neglected the uh, garden for a little while. It is the end of the season, 1st of Mom, October. And we're coming this out. Okay, everyone's okay. very excited. We are coming out for our, um, our last kind of harvest before it frosts tonight. So there's our our spider friends that we've had this year, but we're coming to grab whatever's left that might frost, and then we'll leave a few things and just see what happens. But it's time to pick the final tomatoes, the final peppers, and bring these uh, squash in for the season. So. It seems like this is a good place to wrap this up. It is November 6th, 2022, and as you can see, the garden has pretty much finished itself up. There are a few random rogue tomatoes. I've already started pulling up my tomato cages. Everything is pretty much dead. There is one squash that's still hanging on and still growing. We actually have had some unseasonably warm weather. We've had a few cold days here and there, but it is still t-shirt weather in the middle of beginning of November, but it's going to start getting colder and everything is pretty much dead. So thank you for watching. This has been the progression of our uh, summer project, our garden, and we have had lots of good vegetables, lots of good return, and uh, some prolific plants this season. We were able to make um, salsa with the tomatoes and the peppers. We were able to make um, tomato sauce with the tomatoes as well for a pizza, um, pizza sauce. And I finally have picked up the, uh, <laughs> we have, uh, ducks in our pond. I finally picked what we had finished from our butternut squash and we actually had some good luck with the sweet potatoes that I had put in the ground. I had pulled, I had already picked the ones that were in the container but these are the ones from the ground and they've turned out pretty good. I've got a whole handful of them that I picked yesterday. Um, so I was out yesterday and I picked what we had in the ground still of our sweet potatoes and we had a few tomatoes left that were worth grabbing 
but I think everything is pretty much done for for this season. So we're gonna clear out the rest of the beds. We're gonna leave it for the winter and then hopefully we'll start up again in the spring. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this progression of our little household family garden and all the little um, creatures that we had join us <laughs> throughout the summer as well. The spider infestation and the bugs and the frog and all the fun stuff. So if you've made it this far in this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what your gardening tips are so that I can be more prolific and have better results next summer. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.